Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to take a closer look at Twin Motion light and volume improvement that they've done for Twin Motion 2020.1. So, with Twin Motion open here, what we're going to do is simply take a look at how you can work with light. For this, we're going to need a couple of things and at the same time, we'll proceed from talking about lights to volumes. And with this in mind, we'll also go through and compare and contrast a little bit, you know, just taking a look at what was there before and what is the new improvement that they have right now. So with this open, what I'm going to do is simply come over to our objects and go through to where we have city and I'm also going to come through and get the street lights. So for the street light, I might just simply get the bite and drop it over here and let's rotate this to about 90 degrees. Uh, probably another 90 doesn't look bad and we're just going to leave this at this point. All right, so we have one light out, which I'm going to explain exactly what you need to know about that. The next one which we need to do is go over to where we have our light source, open up the light and bring this out. So in the new version of Twin Motion 2020, there is a volumetric field that now exist here it is actually called haze for things that has to do with spotlight and also ies and you know omnidirectional lights and it's also worth knowing that in the previous version of twin motion this wasn't the feature that was available the feature that has to do with haze which supports some sort of volumetrics especially if you want to do some lighting does not exist in the previous version of twin motion we already did a video about how you can simulate something like that which i'm going to put in the description just in case you want to see how you know tedious that process was and probably if you want to learn how to do that so with the new version of twin motion 2020 what we're going to do is simply come up here and i'm also going to just tone this thing all the way down till we get the time of day which is like you know the very midnight time of day so i have this in our scene i'm also going to just come over and hit the haze and turn the haze on so the reason why we're going to talk about the lights first before we go through to talk about the other ones is simple that the lights that we have here so i'm just going to shut this off all right so that the light that we have here it has haze and this haze can be controlled if you go over to more you can increase and reduce how much haze you want this in twin motion 2019 was impossible to do of course there was a little work around that but it was hugely impossible to do as you know once you bring this and you throw this directly here you barely see anything going on and i know a couple of people were like you could go over to your settings and go over to the weather go over here and increase the smog and the smog doesn't have anything to do with this as it does not support any form of volumetric so the way that you get to deal with something like this was to come over to the furniture go over to particles and then just you know throw in a couple of particles here that would simulate the idea of you know fog smog something like that but this was not so you know it wasn't so great it wasn't so great in so many instances as you were not able to you know control this thing the way you want it did give the effect that you were looking for but it wasn't the best at doing what you wanted. So, you know, between motion 2020 here, you now have a huge, you know, a huge thing that you can do with this. First things is you can play with the intensity, like we said, and then you can choose to play with the speed. So at this point, you can simulate uh, a light that has been hit by wind. And because this has been driven by a certain kind of map, which I have no idea where it is, you can also play with the tiling. And you can see that you have something way more acceptable. Of course, we have some pixelations going here, which has to do with, you know, that happening because of the map. And if you're about to render, please hit the refinements because you're going to get a cleaner render than this. Yeah, so this is actually something that is extremely cool and clean to see. And with this out of the way, it's also worth knowing that your area light doesn't support that effect. It doesn't support the effect because it has no haze feature attached to it, which is, you know, pretty sad. But then there's a compensation for that. Your Omni light actually supports that. So it's also good to note that the Omni light supports something like this. So I'm just going to go over here as well and increase the speed, increase the tiling, and you can see that. But... If you also come over and simply turn on this, so I'm just going to select this and throw in a simple box. So let's go to furniture and primitive and drop a box directly here. That looks like a very small one. Now, uh, this is not so great, not so great as well, but let's just have this. And I'll also come over and press five on my keyboard, which would give me an option to scale this up. So I'm just going to go ahead and scale this all the way up. Press F to actually frame in. And I'm also going to select our spotlight 
and for the angle i'm also going to increase the angle a little bit also push the attenuation a bit so we can have way more attenuations like this if i turn on shadow you can start noticing that we have shadow now the previous shadow that you're seeing is a shadow that is coming from the main uh, light itself but i'm turning on shadow for this now if you go over to the more section you now have volumetric shadows so if you turn on volumetric shadows what this does is it does cast volumetric shadows you probably might not really see it but you can notice that as this travels through there's some sort of shadows that would be casting so with this right here you now have volumetric shadows here in case you want to turn on volumetric shadows for your object you want to tweak the objects to suit what you want this is a very good option to see that we have in twin motion i'm going to take this off right now since we've taken a look at that and simply delete this select the bytes press f on the keyboard open this up and let's talk about these lights that do not have things like this so it's very interesting to note that the area light as a light itself doesn't have volumetric all right but if you go over to the shadow you can actually turn on volumetric shadow go over to the settings go over to your weather open up your effect and increase the smog we now have volumetric lighting coming out from this light it is just something interesting to actually take a look at because you can see that we have you know volumetric lighting coming out from here once you get to increase the smog depending on the amount of lights that you throw in here you can start seeing those things the same thing happens for this one so depending on the amount of lights you throw in as far as you have volumetrics in your scene this is going to automatically generate light you can actually go in and start playing with this so i can increase the attenuation as well and you can now notice that we have you know volumetrics traveling directly down through to this part also with the other one you can also turn on shadows if you want to turn on shadows you can also do the same thing here if you want to do that so what i'm going to do is go over to our settings go back to our weather come over here and turn this off press 5 on the keyboard move this over to a point like this hold down shift move to a certain distance and i'm going to make this about let's make this 15 for example and make them all instances and let's also increase the distance possibly 10 and now we have about 10 different stuff happening there i'll hold down control to make a selection i'm also going to hold down shift to make another selection about this point and for this i'm also going to set this as instances and do that so with that done i'll come over here and make this about 180 and rotate this to a good point like this all right so with this rotated to a good point like that you probably start getting the idea of what we're going to create finally for our tutorial and i'm going to just simply pan this to a given point so there's just a couple of things i would like to share and that's why we're going to create this scene right now so the couple of things which i would like to share is how reflection actually works with things like this and how this actually reacts to weather and season so if i come here and select the cars actually we shouldn't do this this is actually very wrong so what we need to do is we can come over to the path and i'm going to just simply zoom all the way to this place select path select the vehicle path use this pen tool select this and draw all the way to a given point outside of our camera so I'm going to do that and right click to let go. To make another copy, what I'm going to do is scroll all the way down, select the vehicle part itself, hold down shift, click and drag to a given point like this. All right. So with this within this part, I'm also going to select this to be reverse and possibly I need to make this a double laned object. So we can see that double lane going. I'm also going to select this one and set this to be a double lane and you can see the double lane going. I can choose to offset this lane as much as I want and you can start noticing that. So let's make this two centimeter double lane. Let's also select this and make this a two centimeter double lane. What I want to show you guys is if you go over to the weather, go back to this effect and start increasing the smog, which we have here, you can start getting some very cool things going on. And by default, you can notice that the car automatically turns on their light all right so with this going on we would like to talk about reflection so for this we already know we were using the very wrong ground so i'm also going to come over here go over to the ground go over to nature throw in a simple house fat and there we have next thing i need to do is tap g on my keyboard so i can get rid of every single artifact that i have here so i'm going to tap g to get rid of them and now we can see our cars driving by so if you want to actually make this affect the weather you need to go over to the weather and as simple as it is just simply slide the weather around and you can now notice that we're having that reflection thingy going on here by default i think this is raining yeah so i think this is raining as you can see those droplets on the floor 
yeah so i think this is raining and you can start noticing some very cool looking effects as this happens on the other hand if you also want to change by season you can also slide directly here and you would notice that it changes by season and we're having the proper casting going on here and i can also push this back and get something like this so right now that we have the raining season going on you can see that droplets on the floor i can go over to effects go over to the ocean section and enable water of course this is going to you know immerse everything inside water but i'm going to set this to 0.00 maybe one for example and you can see that our cars are driving directly into the ocean the river the water you know something like that so i'm going to just simply drop this down so you guys can see you can choose to take this out if you want and you can choose to introduce this back if you want totally dependent on you so i'm just going to set this to 0 0.001 and you have this going on there and you can also choose to change what kind of color what kind of water that you want you know you can change these things and these are very very nice and you can also see how the light the volumetric light itself which all of those uh you know reflection things are happening as we change the water you can see those very cool features happening here so if you're having a rainy day or you want to simulate a rainy day there you have it it's also worth knowing that most of the lights fixtures that you have that has to do with you know all of the street lamps and the other stuff that they do support this volumetric feeling that you're having here so i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment question if you have questions about any of the things that we've talked about please put them in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to go through and hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace